Merry Christmas to you and yours, and Happy Holidays. Um, I'm sorry I have to make this video, but it's very important that I do make it. I have an encounter this morning um, in a public restroom, a very popular, uh, busy um, transportation hub that has lots of different bathrooms um, that you can use as a commuter. And because I was trying to make an early morning service, an early morning musical um, at a church, I venture out early. And it wasn't that early, it was like after seven. Um, and I went, I was using the restroom. And while coming out of the restroom, um, actually I was using the mirror, I finished using the restroom, I was just using the mirror, fixing myself. And I decided to, I washed my hands and I was about to drive by those, you know, those portable dryer thing they have in the bathroom in these last few years. And I was drying my hands, I was about to dry my hands actually. I glimpsed out the corner of my eye, something looking like a man. And when I turned to look at him, he ducked and went back in the bathroom. So what was my first suspicion? Why are you ducking and hiding? Um, if you're using the bathroom and you're supposed to be a transgender or whatever, I knew he was not a transgender because he dressed as a regular guy, he was more hoodie, street light, baggy pants, he had a, a knapsack on his back, um, and a book bag on his back, and a hat, and just looked real street, and you know, didn't look right to me. So, he went in the bath, uh, he went back in the bathroom and would not come out. He would not come out, so I didn't dry my hand, waiting for him to come out, he wouldn't come out. I could tell under the bottom of the door, that he wasn't using the bathroom because his foot was so close to the door and the toilets are way back to the wall. And I knew he was up to no good. The fact he, he ducked and went back in. Um, this is not a unisex bathroom. The men bathroom was right next to us. There's lots and lots of rules of bathroom in both the men and women. That early in the morning, um, he has ample bath um, uh, stalls to use in the men's room. And usually in the men's room, barely is crowded, never have crowd here and there, any function I go to, anywhere I go to. Um, there's a long line for the ladies' bathroom most of the time, and the men can just walk in and out. So he has no excuse to be in there. So I knew he was up to no good. So anyway, I, um, I'm waiting for him. So I see he's not going to come out, and I see sometimes he cracked the door and put it back. He saw that I'm still there, so I'm like, no. You want to use the bathroom, if you use, even if you use the wrong bathroom, or if you want to say you're a transgender, you use it and come out. The fact you're hiding and dodging from me, me, tell me you know you're, you're up to no good, or you know you're doing something wrong, that's why you're dodging and hiding. Anyway, I, I pretend like I left, and I went back to the side where my belongings were, where I could see my belongings, where my belongings were by the sink. And he started to come out, but he wasn't coming Right next to him was the exit for him to leave. He decided to go to an other entrance, the other part of the bathroom where more stalls are. So I said, what are you doing in the ladies' room? Get out of here. This is not for the men's room. The men's room is next door. Why are you here? Come out of here. And he, he you know, dart back out and go to the exit. So I'm, I'm like, you know, this is why I'm not in for this transgender men, men using women's bathroom and all this stuff. Because this, this man is up to no good. I'm still in the bathroom for a while because I have a lot of time before my, my, my event or function that I'm going to start. So I would have to take the train, uh, a few stops, but it was a short ride. And here he's coming in again because he thought I left. So I said, what are you doing? You're up to no good. Get out of the ladies' bathroom. This is not for you. And he, he came out. Anyway, um, I'm there and I'm fussing talk and I started alerting uh, one or two women who were coming in because not a lot of women was coming at that time of the morning. It was not early, like I said, it's like after seven. Um, but there were one or two women coming in. Um, this is a very busy area where shopping can be done and stuff. Lots of different transportation coming from upstate, coming from a uh, different part of New York. Um, so you, you know, so I'm like, okay. And I'm warning women to be careful. There was a guy coming in and lurking and acting suspicious in the ladies' room. Um, every woman I see coming. Um, so I'm there. And I decided I'm gonna go, the second time I decided I'm gonna door and how to go to find the cops. So I know there's a lot of cops usually in that area. They even have a police station in that area, like for the transit police station. So I went looking for cops. 
And I found one sitting by a desk upstairs and I told him, I said, listen, there's a guy acting suspicious in the, in the ladies' room, etc. And the cops are where he is and that stuff. I said, go down the escalator because there's more than one ladies' room bathroom downstairs. If you go down the steps, you're gonna probably go to the wrong bathroom, excuse me. So go to the one that I see, but he still went down the steps. So I decided I'm gonna look for more cops because just in case he went to the wrong bathroom. Um, I, the guy thought all, but it came out already. But the way he was, he was coming in and out, I just felt like he was gonna come in again. So anyway, I um, went to the ladies' room, and when I went to the, uh, I mean, I went to look for another cop. When I found the cop, another set of cops, I told them, and one of them flashed me off, telling me how an Asian one, telling me, oh, um, oh, oh, this is New York City, men are allowed to use a rent bathroom, and something about mental health stuff, nonsense law, and, 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 and just acting all nonchalant and annoyed at me and stuff. So I said, sir, the way this man was acting, he's not no transgender, he's not trying to use a blaze room. He's going in and out, when he sees me, he's ducking and hiding. Uh, so that's not somebody who wants to use a bathroom. So anyway, um, he, um, I walk away and uh, said, you're lazy and stuff. You need to do your job properly. And if something happened today to a woman, you're responsible. So I went upstairs. He was walking with another two or three, about three or four other cops. And they weren't saying that. He was the only one acting up. So I went and I saw another group, well, another group of cops when I was going back when I went downstairs. And I told them. And they, I said, he already left. But they went in to look and they told me to go use another bathroom. I said, no, you could use another bathroom. So anyway, on my way in the bathroom, guess who I saw? Hiding by the men's room next to the women's bathroom, dodging and peeking to see if the cops are leaving and getting ready to go into the female's bathroom again. So he's getting ready to go into the female's bathroom again. And I, um, you know, I realized this was what I saw. So I said, here he is, he's getting ready to go into the female's bathroom again. And the cops, the cops start going after him and start yelling at him, you're gonna get out, go outside, etc. And as a matter of fact, I was going in the bathroom, they were telling me not to go in the bathroom. And I'm glad I was going in there because because I'm going in there, that's why I see him. And because I see him, Because I decided to, excuse me, I had to go tell some kid who decided for some reason to go on and dance that this is a church, we're not dancing here. Um, so anyway, because I decided to go in the bathroom, I saw that that's what he was trying to do, go into the bathroom again. Um, and so I hear an argument telling me he's gonna get out of here and all this stuff. Um, but it's going to show you how, um, I, and I even said to the cops when I saw them, actually, I went in the bathroom. And I shortly have to go in the bathroom and I'm in there again. I hear a, little, a, a, young, a child screaming and crying hysterically, run to the section over where, I guess it's her mother was somewhere behind me in another section, and crying and said, he's staring at me as something else. And I said, see, something happened. What happened to her? Because there was a man coming in and out and lurking in, in, in the bathroom the whole morning. And, and I said, what happened to the child? I didn't get to see if it was a boy or girl, if he was in the bathroom in the men's room and they attack him in there or it was here. And the, girl, the mother and the child went out hysterically and some bunch of other people I could tell they were tourists or from another part of New York that was not from New York City. And they dashed out and I was like, see and I start telling everybody about him. I saw this guy all morning acting suspicious. As a matter of fact, I walked poor when he was acting and hiding the bathroom, I looked down on the floor because you can see underneath the bathroom door because the doors are kind of high. Another man shoot like was more than one of them working in the bathroom. So I said, whatever happened to that child, those cops that I told first are responsible because I did tell them that there's a guy acting suspicious and he tell me about laws and nonsense. Um, and you can, there's a difference. Not because, even if you have laws, you, you tell us as citizens we should look out for suspicious act. And when you have a citizen who look out and saw suspicious act, people acting in a way that's not normal, that's your right to say to them, hey, let me go and at least investigate. He telling me man can't, you know, man can't use a bathroom and all this nonsense. And I know that girl was not a transgender. I know that was not a man who wants to use a bathroom. That was a man who wants to do some kind of criminal act. And so apparently something happened to the child. I don't know if he get to touch the child or was show the child something inappropriate or whatever, but the child was very sterile and crying. Um, and so on that note, just be careful when you are in public place, especially this time, 
this time of the year is busy and you're in certain areas where there's a lot of um, tourists and transportation, lots of people, just be careful. And, and especially if it's during the time when there's not a lot of people out, like if it's very early or very late. That's where the criminals mostly want to strike. Also be careful because then they know you're using makeup, putting on makeup in the mirror and you put on your things. I don't know if he was trying to steal or he was trying to do something sexual. Either both or one of those things he was trying to do. So just be careful out there. Men, some of you have your, your sons and you send them to the bathroom by themselves. Be careful sending your, your sons to the bathroom by themselves because you're creepy people out here going in the bathroom and this is in the ladies room that I saw that in a public ladies room this morning. So be careful, protect your family, protect your possession this time because your criminals out. Enjoy the holidays, enjoy New York City, but be careful because there's a lot of stuff happening right now and there are people looking to harm other people and hurt them either physically or financially. Enjoy your holiday, have a happy holiday and be very careful. Thank you.